Yes, welcome to Liverpool. We're in the bowels of the MS Bank Arena where it's absolute hive of activity. It's day seven of the Netball World Cup. I dread to think how many live hours we've clocked at this point, but I can tell you it's a lot. Not even going to count the matches either. Uh, alongside me is the producer of Sky Sports Netball, Leanne McLernan. And Leanne, first of all, this is a huge operation. What is your role as producer at a huge competition like this? Well, basically, I've been working on this for about a year. Um, I've been working on the Super League as well. So we've been building up the Super League and then basically trying to get to a, uh, elevate it to an event like this. Um, so it's, it's turned into a huge production with about 100 of us on site. Um, and my role is to editorialise the programme, write the running orders, speak to the talent, uh, work out what the storylines are, um, and basically be in charge of everyone in general. Um, so yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> it is fun. That is the most important thing to point out, isn't it? Because it's a lot of hard work, a lot of hours, but everyone enjoys themselves. How did you get into your role and become a producer? Well, I actually went when I was about 10 to a TV studios around the corner from me. Um, and I went onto a kids show and I was like, oh my God, I would love to do this. I was only 10, but I knew what I wanted to do. I saw these cameras everywhere and people dropping popcorn and singers and everything. And I thought, that's it, I'm going to do this. So I went to college and studied radio and journalism and TV. And then got a job as a runner and then worked my way up. So like most of us, really. That is the story for a lot of people in, in producer positions out. Interested to know what show was that? It was Motormouth. Wow, I don't know what that was, but that sounds great. I'm too old. <laughs> um, in terms of challenges, obviously, being female in sport can be quite challenging. Have you ever found any situations where you've had to overcome things based on your gender? I think we've certainly been male do dominated and certainly when I started in sport it was it was really just men around um, they did tend to think that you didn't know anything about sport as a woman but I grew up in a household with boys and we watched everything and loved it um, and, I, and I think ultimately they, they found out that I did know about sport and that I was passionate about it so eventually yeah you kind of just you work around people but the, the company has changed so we now have people that know that we're all the same um, so I think we're fine now. Yeah, absolutely. What's your advice for young women in particular wanting to get into a sports producer's role or just sports broadcasting in general? I think that is one of my things that I find quite difficult because most women want to be in front of screen. So don't take any offence, Hannah. Uh, <laughs> it's really hard not to, though, because that's what you see. So I think the main thing is that there are so many roles, as you'll see today, uh, within the business. And being a producer, it's something that you just need to get work experience, try and get in any company, local companies, wherever you can really, and just keep watching our output and looking at what you would do and how you would do it and why did we do it, that sort of thing. And then try and get my email address maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those, they are those kind of roles that because you don't see them, you don't see what a producer does most of the time, you don't necessarily know they exist, but they are there. Um, Leanne, thank you so much. I know you're really, really busy. Quite a big game this evening, isn't there? Um, I'm going to go find some of the other brilliant young women that we've got working on this show and I will see you in a couple of minutes.